Hey what's up this is Atomic Swift and welcome back to another one of my videos this time as you can tell in the title we're doing something a little different here I'm gonna unbox my comic book collection that uh, I have not opened the boxes of I even forgot all the comics I have um, I haven't opened the boxes in at least uh, I mean I'm in my late 30s so shit late 30s 20 years I want to say I want to say I haven't opened up my comic book collection in 20 years so I've got I don't have a whole lot of comics I've got these two boxes of comics um, they're not very big one's a camcorder box one is a uh, I don't even know it's about the same size as this top camcorder box right here but uh, so yeah we're gonna get into my comic book collection like I said I don't remember all the ones I have I don't know if I have any that are worth money um, hopefully if you know if any of these are worth money you can leave comments down below in the uh, comments section of my video I do remember that I do have a lot of uh, X-Men comics probably most of and I've got some A-Team comics and some Spider-Man comics so we're gonna uh, Let's check out my collection. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't remember this one. So, I'm going to open this box first. This is the less filled box. I mean, I was never really huge into comic books. Like, I read some of these. I didn't read anywhere near all of my comic books. So, oh, what is this one? Raver issue two, I believe. Let's see. Let me uh, adjust this here. Yeah, I think Raver issue 2. I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, look at that. The uh, SNES Super Advantage arcade stick. That's good. Okay, but um, let's see. Now we got this one. Is issue number 3 of Batman and the Outsiders. DC comic. And then... Uh, like I said, I'm not going to open any of these. These are these have all been sealed in this box for, like I said, at least 20 years, if not a little longer. So I want to say I had these since I was uh, 15, maybe 14, 12, oh no, maybe 13, 14, 15, somewhere around there. And there's this one, Genetics. Is this issue number one? I've never even heard of this one. Let me, uh... Justice here. There we go. So we got this one, genetics. Like I said, issue one. Um, okay, now I do remember a lot of these. I started double putting two in one to save bags when I was a kid. I do remember that. So this one is. I don't even know what issue this is. Fright Night. Um, and the one on this side is number eight, August '93, Scarlet. And then, um, this is June 1989, Manhunter, a DC comic. Never heard of that one. Then we've got another Marvel comic, um, uh, issue number 6, 1993, Wild Thing. So I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't, I, have not rem I don't remember any of these ones. And then we got issue number five of another Marvel comic. This is Black Axe. Never heard of that. Well, obviously I've heard of it because it's mine, but then we got um, from August 89, a DC comic. We got Manhunter, um, issue 16, I think. Oh, boy. And we got... I've never even heard of it. What the hell is this? I don't remember this one. So this is um, number one, volume two of, I think it says Cyber Rad. I don't remember that one. There's nothing on the back now. And then we got this one, Comics Greatest World, um, Dark Horse Comics, week three, King Tiger. And then we got... Um, 
another Marvel comic. This is uh, the Warlock Chronicles. That's all it says. First spectacular issue. Like I said, if you know if any of these are worth money, I said I'm not going to sell them, but uh, hold on to them. I mean, I've held on to them for like 20 years now. Might as well keep them, right? Unless any of these are worth some big money, but let's see. This is another Marvel comic. This is Thor Cores. Um, issue one of four. I was never a big fan of Thor. Um, the movies are okay. Thor is far from being my favorite superhero. My favorite is uh, Wolverine from the X-Men. Um, we got another DC comic, number 11 from uh, November 93, Scarlet. There's, no, there's nothing else in there. And then we got um, 4 of 4, another Marvel comic. This is Mystic Wars, Miss Tech Wars. And then we got, this one's from 1963. This is book three. It's Tales of the Uncanny. And then there's one on in the back. DC comic, Batman and Spawn. So Batman, Spawn, War Devil. Um, that one looks more like a book than a comic book. But that's Batman, Spawn. And then we've got another an image comic. Uh, this is Violator. And on the back side, we have October uh, issue number 74, X Force. Fucking Deadpool. Love Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, this one's not in a bag. We're going to have to put this one in one of these bags. Um, this one is. Um, another Marvel comic. This one is from 1993. Uh, Last Battlefield issue, Warheads. Never heard of that one. Doesn't sound familiar. Like I said, um, got another Marvel comic. Uh, Nth Man. NTH Man, the Ultimate Ninja. And then on the back side we got another Marvel comic. We got Death Wreck. Um, issue number four. Just one sec. I gotta. Gotta be one that. Oh, well, we had one. So weird. That's where I put years. You know, when I was a teenager, I put all these, all the ones that weren't in bags in bags. This one, it's just not in a bag. Okay. We get that one. That one. Okay. So Nth Man. That's that one. We got another Marvel comic here. Um, it says issue number two of Genetics. And then on the back side, Marvel Comics, Silver Sable and oh man, this fucking character shit's in the way. Silver Sable and the Wild Pack. I don't know, but uh, yeah. And then last in this box, we got an, a double side. Ooh, actually, okay, yeah. So we got a double side. Another one. This is issue number six, a uh, Marvel comic. This is Black Axe and oh, Black Panther at bay. Let's see, and then we got another Marvel comic on the back side. Issue number five of Nikki Doyle, Wild Thing. So that's box one of my comic book collection. I guess I should have been counting. Maybe I should, could have said at the end how many I had, but okay. So we're gonna put this back for another 20 years, and so this has been in my closet, uh, in various closets for 20 years. So put it back in there, keep it safe and sound. Then we're gonna get into the next box, which the next box has a lot more. It's uh, definitely a lot heavier. Um, this one said I'm just gonna get a drink of water real quick. And if you made it this far, don't worry. I'm not switching formats of the videos. Still going to do computer and video game videos. I just wanted to try something a little different because I was in my closet yesterday moving some clothes around and I found my comic book collection and I found my baseball card. So I'm going to make a video of that too as I go through 
um, my, my baseball cards, and there's various other cards in there too, but I'm going to go through the, the whole box. But uh, So we're going to get in here, and these are where my X-Men and Wolverine comics are. I do remember that. This is, yeah, this is the, the heavier, more filled box. So we're just going to see quite a few X-Factor ones in here. Ooh, I'm going to have to see if that's worth money. Check that out. Fucking forgot a Pokemon card in there. Ooh, a Japanese Pokemon card at that. Look at that. Now, like I said, if anybody knows if any of this stuff is worth money, please leave a comment down in the uh, comment section of this video. Yeah, look at that. Man, that's got to be an old Pokemon card. Shit, I haven't been into Pokemon cards in a while. I never really, I played a few games of Pokemon, but I mainly collected the cards for a little while. So that's pretty cool. I got this card. I'm actually going to take this out and put it in with my uh, baseball cards and football cards and whatever cards are in that box, that, which I'm going to make a video for next. Okay, so now we're going to start out here. Like I said, as you can tell, this pile is much bigger. This is my good stuff. This is uh, stuff where I've read a lot of this stuff. Well, years, 20 years ago I did. Okay. So now, we're going to start from the top here. Look at this. Um, I'm going to guess this is issue number 40 of uh, X-Factor. Cyclops, I forgot who that is. And then uh, on the back side, we got another X-Factor. This is issue number 59. Um, it's from, I think, 1990. Another Marvel comic X-Factor. So, we got that X-Factor. We got that X-Factor in the back. Um, and right here we got more X Factor, issue 57. Said I'm more of a Marvel comic person, and this one's uh, issue 54 of X Factor. As you can tell as I go through the box, I have way more Marvel comics than DC. Um, don't get me wrong, I like Batman, Superman, but uh, <laughs> Marvel's got the better superheroes. Okay, now these have got to be really old. Um, it's a Marvel comic. This is A-Team. This is uh, the first issue of the A-Team comic. Issue 1. Um, March 1st. Um, I should put the date because I'm not, I'm not going to open any of these. I said I've kept them sealed for this long. Um, I'm going to have to actually look and see if... Issue, you figure issue 1 of something has got to be or something. First collector's item issue. Um... So then we go here, issue two of A Team. Um, another Marvel comic, and nothing on the back side. So I read a few of these uh, A Team ones. Okay, now we got issue 199 of the Spectacular Spider Man, uh, guest starring the X Men, because I'm a huge X Men X Men fan. Nothing on that side, and I'm also a huge Bishop fan. So this is um. All new X-Men limited series. So this might be is well, I can't even tell. Is this issue this might be issue one of Bishop. And then on the back side, we've got Marvel Comics presents Colossus. Um I think it's issue 15. So and then oh my god, surprisingly I've got ones that got ones that are that are not in fucking bags, man. I've got extra room in some of these bags, so we're gonna do that one. No, 18. Yeah, we're gonna start filling in some of these bags, so we've got an X-Men the Movie uh, July 14th, 2000 uh, prequel edition comic book? Is this is a comic book? I remember this. Yeah, so it's uh, X-Men the movie with um, Toys R Us offers inside. Who knows? Might be worth something someday. People are into collecting some stuff, some weird stuff. Okay, so move that one. Now, I don't like this. this is, it's not in a bag. I mean, as you can see, all my comics are in pretty good condition. I mean... Okay, so this is um, issue 86 of Marvel Comics Group 
Marvel team up Spider-Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I said we're gonna set that one aside, wait for a bag for that one. And then the next one is um, issue 257 of the Uncanny X-Men. Um, there's that one. So we got and we got this one here, issue 26. Um, this has got to be old. It's only 20. It was only 25 cents. Marvel Comics Group, The Defenders, guest starring the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we got this one. Uh, remember is that where the issue number is? I don't even remember. So we got Defenders, um, Enter Starhawk, and then we got this one. Um, I think this is issue 11, if I'm reading that right. The Cosmic Avenger Quasar. Quasar. And then we got so on this side we've got a Batman comic, which I think the cover's missing, so I'm not going to open that one. Pull it out. Uh, then we got this uh, issue three of A Team, and then here's where I start getting into what I like. Issue number two of Wolverine. Huge Wolverine fan. Like I said, I like Wolverine. Wolverine, and I like my Spider-Man comics. So we're going to put this Spider-Man one on the back side of the Wolverine one. Keep them both safe. So luckily, we found a bag there. And we got this one. Hope I'm reading this right about the issue number, because it is right here, right? Um, issue 18. I mean, this is an old one. 25 cents presents Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel superheroes. So, and we got this one. Like I said, this is a 25 cent comic again. Is this issue 27? I think so. Um, the Defenders, another old one. Oh, look at that! And then I got some cards and stuff too. Check that out. Huh. Alright, so well, since we're in here, and this card sleeve uh, page is too big to put in my, uh, with my card collection box. So we've got Venom, we got Sabretooth, then we got uh, The Coming of Galactus, 94 flare cards, all the, so we'll put these back in here. Said I was never really that big into comic books. I just had some. Um, never really got into collecting comic books. I just have a you know small collection. And uh, oh, I wonder if that one's worth money. Look at that Star Trek card. Oh, no. It's from 1991. Wow. Star Trek. I forgot I had some Star Trek cards. Star Trek is good, uh, more into Star Wars, though. Star Wars did it for me more. So here, I'm actually going to put a Star Trek face now, so I know there's Star Trek cards in here if I ever go back through here, because I forgot all about those. Alrighty. Make sure I don't mess up any of these cards here. Okay, now we got Alternate X Cable. Another Star Trek card. Another Star Trek card. Another Star Trek card and Star Trek Deep Space Nine card. I mean, I just can't believe I've you know, moved a few times since I was, uh, you know, in in my teens, like 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm surprised I kept all these, you know, intact like this. There's a Bishop card, Cannonball, um, Marvel Metal junk pile and a little bit of a beat up Wolverine card with Wolverine, Colossus, Rogue, Nightcrawler and Cyclops on it. It's a little beat up. Not as in good of shape as these other cards. Alrighty. Now we got Storm. So these are pretty nice cards. Phoenix. Um, random. And then uh, Marvel Masterpiece Rembrandt Brothers. Huh. Alrighty. So, almost a little over halfway through this, the, the cards. So we got a Cyclops card. 
Is there? Yeah. Oh, no, there is one. Okay. So we got Cyclops, Mariko, Nova. These Marvel Metal ones look really cool. Um, Angel, and what the hell is this? Oh wow, Super Bowl, or no, Rose Bowl 1980 Steelers vs. Rams card. I wasn't really into collecting baseball cards or football cards. So when, you, when I go through that box, you, you'll see I have a few of each. I don't have a whole lot. Oh, let's see. So we got uh, two more two more little pockets after this. So we got Professor X. <laughs> what the hell was this? Um, there's something hidden on some cards with a decoder. And then a Juggernaut. That's a pretty cool looking card. Alrighty, so we're going to get... We got Jean Grey. And uh, Juggernaut. And... Evil Ernie Glow in the Dark Chromium card set. I don't know what the hell that is. Must have came in a pack of random cards or something I bought at a comic book shop. Okay, now these ones are actually in individual little sleeves, which is cool. So we got Wolverine. Well, that's a really nice card. Huge, like I said, huge Wolverine fan. Um, Evil Learning Glow in the Dark Chromium card set. Crush. Oh, I don't know who that is. If they even make this comic book anymore, I don't remember it. First Blood, Cover Gallery, Subset. Huh. Alright. I didn't remember I had that. Okay. Alrighty. Said I really wish I would have kept. I had a shitload of Ninja Turtles. I mean, I wish I'd have kept that. I'd be making a video of that right now. I had a ton of Ninja Turtles and vehicles. Took up too much space to move. I should have sold them or something, but I fucking threw them in the trash like an idiot. Okay, now we got issue number one fifteen of Wolverine, guest starring X Men. Um, from oh, it doesn't have the date on it. And there's nothing in the back there, so we're gonna. Store another one of these. I'll store some old ones. One of these uh, Defender ones. Alrighty. Now, right here we got issue number nine from 1992. Cage guest starring the Incredible Hulk. And on the back side we got. Is that issue 17? I said, I hope I'm reading these right. Uh, Cage, another one. Never read those, so I just had them. Um, then we got... I hope it's issue 17 or 18. Cage. And then issue 3. Like I said, I believe that's the issue number right there. Um, issue 3 of uh, Cage, face-to-face -face with, with the Punisher. Love the Punisher. Um, issue 15, I'm guessing. Cage again. Well, it's cool because we just found another, another empty sleeve back. So we can put another one of these in there. Like this Marvel Superheroes Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Come on, man. It's kind of a thick comic book, too. Shit, I don't think this one's going to fit. Shit. No, that one's a little bigger than the I'll get these Defender one. Oh, yeah. I'll get this X Men one in here. Yeah, it's a little bigger than a average comic book. That Guardians of the Galaxy one, isn't it? Yeah, a little. I think it's too big for a sleeve. And we got uh, another one. I think this is issue nine. Marvel Comic presents Wolverine. And then uh. Issue 96, Marvel Comics presents Wolverine. Are we seeing a pattern here? I told you I like Wolverine. I love Wolverine. Um, let's see. This is the old Wolverine. Oh, this is a Wolverine flashback. 
This is minus one, so I don't know what the hell that means. Co-starring Nick Fury and Carol Driver, Super Spy. I don't remember that one. But we did find another sleeve for another one of these Defender ones. These ones might be worth something someday. It's a 25 cent comic book. Alrighty. If you watch my previous videos, I actually went into a comic book shop and bought Mad Magazine comics. It was very depressing. It was the first time I'd been in a comic book shop in probably 20 years. I was the only one in there. It was very depressing. <sighs> okay, then we got uh, issue number seven of Black Axe. Oh, we had a empty bag. Oh, look, another got duplicates of that Bishop one. Cool. So we've got a duplicate of the Bishop, uh, and it's all new X Men Limited Series Bishop. So that'd be cool if those were worth money, since I have two of them. I can part with one. There we go. So all the ones that were extra that could fit in these sleeves do. Now we got this one. Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, Dark Lords of the Sith. Issue 6 of 6. I don't think I ever read that. Um, issue 17, X-Men 2099. Nothing on the back side. Then we got... X-Men double size 25th issue, X-Men 29, uh, 2099 AD. Never really read these these ones with the 2099 stuff, X-Men. Uh, issue 21, X-Men 2099 AD. And then uh, we got Winner Takes All, issue 19, X-Men 2099. Oh, Winner Take All for, uh, for Vegas. I never read that one. Now this, classic X-Men, uh, Marvel 25th Anniversary, issue number 6, 1986 Marvel uh, Comics Group, classic X-Men, that might be worth some money. Yeah, I remember, I remember reading that one. When I was a wee lad, now we got issue 8 of... Malibu Comics X Mutants. Don't remember that one. Don't remember who could be in that one. And then we got issue 216, Spectacular Spider Man. Said I'm a huge Spider Man fan. Um, we got a fucking uh, stick on tattoo. And uh, Man of War Pog. Remember Pogs? Oh my god. Um, right here we got issue number 11 of X Mutants. Never read these, just had them. And then we got uh, issue number. Oh, there's a price sticker on the. Oh, there we go. Issue 22 of uh, X Men. It's a pretty badass looking cover. And then we got uh, issue number two of Gun Runner. And on the back side, there's one that. Has no cover. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to pull it out because it's it's sealed. It's it's been taped shut for 20 years. Let's leave that. <coughs> then we got issue number 39 of X Factor. And then on the back side, issue number 48 of X Factor. And then uh, issue two of four Marvel Comics Death Three, uh, Death Metal vs. Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider's cool. I never really read their comics, though. And then we got issue number one of Shadow Riders, fantastic first issue. Um, an all-out team, an all-new team in all-out action against Cable. Uh, I'm a huge Cable fan. Cable fucking just looks badass. And then uh, we got the issue five uh, from 1986 of uh, X Factor vs. the Alliance of Evil. And then on the back side, we've got issue number 58 of X Factor. And then we got issue 4 of 4. Um, number 4 in a 4 issue limited series, code name Genetics. And then on the back side, issue number 5 of Genetics. And then issue, oh, look, the first issue of Genetics. 
said these genetics ones I never read them I think they were just in like a you just bought you know you paid for like a random like bag of just random comics or they were having a sale you know like buy five for a dollar or some shit you got issue two of genetics issue one of of uh, Merck Mark Hazard's Merck and then we got issue number two Gene Dogs vs. Genetics nothing on the back side so I remember reading this one this comic is awesome this is number issue number ten of Spider-Man uh, Wolverine, Wendico, and Webhead no, it's got Wolverine and Spider-Man in it there's nothing on the back side then we got Superheroes from the Mind of Clive Barker Hyperkind issue two. Never read that. And here we go, another classic one here. Issue three of Mephisto vs. the X Men. I mean, that's classic. Look at the art style. Look at how old Wolverine looks right there. Oh, uh, old art style. Then we got issue number 42 of X Factor, all the glitters. And on the back side, issue 45 of X Factor. So that's all my comic books. So they're. No more. I don't have any more boxes hidden for all these years. I remember I only had two boxes. So, like I said, if you know something about comics and you saw any in here that were re very rare, I would appreciate it if you left a comment in the comments section of this video and just let me know which ones are worth money. I'm just interested to see if me holding on to these comics for 20 years, well, a little over 20 years, was actually worth it. Um, like I said, we'll be getting back to the video game and computer videos soon enough. I just wanted to try something different this week. Um, so thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for all likes, comments, subs. And as always, bye for now.